In this video, I'm going to do uh, one excellence question from level 2 MC exam of coordinate geometry. <coughs> okay, now what is the question? Okay, the question says, <coughs> excuse me, D is the point negative 3, 4. So, this is the point negative 3, 4 D. Okay, and E is the point 5, 0. So, it's always good to uh, draw a sketch diagram or a rough diagram of what the question is saying so that you understand what they are trying to ask you. So, D is the point and E is this point five zero. Triangle DEG is an isosceles triangle where G is a point A to A. Now, this is an arbitrary point. This is so you know that A sorry G is somewhere between D and E because it's an isosceles triangle, so they are saying that DG is equal to EG. Okay, this is DG is equal to EG, so they are equal. Okay, now as it's an isosceles triangle, you can understand the base angles are equal, so these two angles are equal. And if you drop a normal or a perpendicular on DE, this will form a right angle. Okay, now this is. Uh, because these two sides are equal, so this is, uh, these two angles are equal, so uh, this would be the midpoint, okay, also this point where you drop the perpendicular on DE, this will be the midpoint, so let us name that as M, okay, M is uh, the foot of perpendicular from G on DE, now as it's midpoint, you can see that these two D M is equal to EM, they are equal. Now the coordinates of D are minus 3, 4 and the coordinates of E are 5, 0. So if you want to find the midpoint, what you do is you basically add the uh, x coordinate and uh, divide it by 2. So I go minus 3, minus 3 plus 5 divided by 2, which is 2 divided by 2, which is 1. And to find the uh, y coordinate of the midpoint, you go, you add the y coordinates, that is 4 plus 0 divided by 2, which is 4 divided by 2, which is 1. So, m, the coordinates of m are uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2, sorry, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, that, is, that does make sense. This point is 1 comma 2. So, this point m is 1 comma 2. Now, what's other information? The area of the triangle is 20. Now, we know that the area of a triangle is base times half base times height. So, this is your height, this is your h, and this is your base. So, your base is d e and your height is g m. So, what's your, uh, so you can say uh, let me try to finish in. Okay. <clears throat> so, what is your base? So, you can say DG, sorry, DE, which is your base, is using the distance formula or using the, this is say point, I keep erasing, this is 1 comma 2. So, so let me rewrite, D or base which is your DE using the distance formula is square root of distance formula is very simple you take away you're basically using the Pythagoras theorem so I'm not going into that so if you want to do it faster that's minus 3 <coughs> minus 5 squared plus 4 minus 0 squared okay so basically we're taking away the x coordinates and squaring it plus uh, the difference of y coordinate and square it and then find the square root will give you the distance. So, this is square root of this is 8 negative 8 squared which is 64 plus 4 squared is 16. So, that is square root of 80. Do not simplify this, leave it as it is. Now, the height, height is your g m. That would again be using the distance formula. It will be a minus 1 squared plus 2a minus 
2 squared. Okay, so yeah, now we know that the area, area of the triangle, of triangle B, E, G is given to be 20. So uh, we know area of a triangle is half base, so half times base is square root of 80 times square root of 8 minus 1 squared plus 2a minus 2 squared is equal to 80. Now multiplying 2 on both sides, multiplying 2 on both sides, what can you get? So that is square root of 80 times square root of a minus 1 squared plus 2a minus 2 squared is equal to Oh, why did I write 80 here? Yeah. This is 20. This is nothing but 20. So if you multiply 2 to both sides, what will you get? You will get that is equal to 40. Okay, am I right? Okay, yeah. So now, <coughs> okay, what should be the next step? Think about it. Okay, let me continue with red. So can I write this? Uh, this square root of 80 is square root of 16 times 5, okay, which is 4 root 5. Square root of 16 is 4. So, can I write the next step as 4 root 5 times square root of a minus 1 squared plus 2a minus 2 squared is equal to 40. Now, you can divide both sides by 4. So, this will be square root of 5 times square root of. I am doing more steps so that you understand what is happening. Okay? I could have done in less steps, but I like to do in more steps so that I can also find my mistakes. If you divide both sides by 4, uh, this 4 will get cancelled and this will be 10. Now, this is, so now I am going to square both sides. So, if you square both sides, so this will be 5 times a minus 1 squared plus 2a minus 2 squared is equal to 100. Okay, I am squaring both sides. Now if you divide both sides by 5, you will have a minus 1 squared plus 2a minus 2 squared is equal to 100 divided by 5 is 20. Okay. Now, let me expand this. So, this will become a squared minus 2a plus 1. Now, you have to square. So, this is 2a minus 2 times 2a minus 2. That is 4a squared minus 8a. You can do the expansion yourself. Plus 4 is equal to 20. So, let me simplify the left hand side. So, this is 5a squared. Then, you go to minus 2a minus 8a is minus 10a. Uh, and plus 5 is equal to 20. So, if you take away 20 from both sides, you get a squared, 5a squared minus 10a minus 15 is equal to 0. Now, I can divide all by 5. So, this is a squared minus 2a minus 3 is equal to 0. So, this is so easy. So, this also gives you an indication you are on the right track. So, this is a minus 3 times a plus 1 is equal to 0. So, your a is equal to 3 or a is equal to negative 1. This implies 2a would be 6 and here 2a would be minus 2. So, what is the question now? The question is you have to find the two possible coordinates of g. So, the coordinates of g are a and 2a. So, we are almost there. So, finally, you can say g is equal to 3 comma 6 or this should be minus 2. Okay, this is minus 2 because a is negative 1. So, 2a should be negative 2. So, the two answers are 3, 6 or minus 1, minus 2. See you in the next video.